Hi everyone, it's Jillian. For today's tutorial, we will be working on this braided stitch pattern. This is a very beginner friendly pattern and if you're new to crochet and you want to improve on your skills, this pattern is perfect for that. Though this is a four row repeat pattern, three out of four rows are single crochet rows. This will also be a great pattern to uh, make as a scarf, a hat or a blanket or throw of sorts. So let's get started. To begin, you're going to chain any number of stitches. For this tutorial, I have 30 stitches. To begin row 1, you're going to start by making a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And row 1 is going to be a single crochet row. And you're going to continue making single crochets all the way to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. And that is the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn. You're going to make a single crochet into the first stitch. And you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch until you get to the end of the row. Continue with your second row of single crochet and I'll meet you at the end. That is the end of row two. For row three, you're going to chain three. And that chain three counts as a stitch now and throughout the pattern. In row three, we will be working into row two and into row one. You're going to wrap your hook, you're going to go into the next stitch, you're going to pull up a loop. That's three loops on your hook. You're going to wrap your hook and you're going to go into the stitch directly below that first stitch that you went into. You're going to pull up a loop, you now have five loops on your hook, you're going to wrap your hook and pull through all five. And this is going to be your repeat. Wrap your hook, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, going into the stitch directly below that, pull up a loop, and pull through all five loops. Wrap your hook, go into the next stitch. Pull up a loop, go into the stitch directly below that, pull up a loop and pull through all loops. Repeat until you get to the end of your row and I'll meet you there. Coming up to the end here, you'll see that you have two stitches left. You're going to make your final repeat into the next stitch and the stitch below and into the final stitch on the end, you're going to make an extended double crochet. You're going to pull one loop off the hook, two loops and then two loops and that brings it up to the height of the other stitches and that is the end of row three. For row four, you're going to chain one and turn. You're going to make a single crochet into the first stitch. And row four is going to be a single crochet row. You're going to make one single crochet into every stitch. Continue making single crochets into every stitch until you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. And at the end you're going to make your final double crochet, um, single crochet into the top of the chain 3. 
And that is the end of row four. For row five, you're gonna chain one and turn. You're gonna make a single crochet into the first stitch. Row five is gonna be a row of single crochets. And you're gonna make one single crochet into every single crochet stitch until you get to the end of the row. Continue and I will make, meet you there. And that is the end of row five. For row six, you're gonna chain one and turn. And row six, you're gonna repeat row five by making a row of single crochets. And that is the end of row six and you should have a total of three rows of single crochets. For row seven you're going to chain three and turn and you're now going to be working into the sixth and fifth row. You're going to wrap your hook much like you did in row three and you're going to go into the next stitch, pull up on that loop and go into the stitch directly below that. With five loops on your hook you're going to pull through all five loops. Into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and into the stitch directly below that, pull up a loop, and pull through all loops. And you're going to repeat this pattern just like you did in row three until you get to the end of the row. Continue and I'll meet you there. Coming up to the end of the row, you'll see that you have two stitches left. You're going to make your final repeat into the next stitch. And into the last stitch, you're going to make an extended double crochet. You're going to pull one loop off your hook, then two, and then two. And that is the end of row seven. To continue with the pattern, you're going to repeat rows four to seven for as many rows as you need. You're going to want to finish your, pro your project with a row of single crochet. As always, thank you for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe for more video tutorials.